everyone. Welcome back to Luna's 144 Hobbies. Uh, today it is a very special day. Yes, it is. Uh, we have the 11th of January. And let's see, uh, three months ago, I made an order of a Chatelaine kit from the European Cross Stitch Company in America. And it arrived today. It arrived today. <laughs> I'm so happy. And what is also so awesome, I didn't have to pay any taxes or custom fees or any fees at all. So maybe there will be a, um, a bill for it later, I guess, maybe. I hope not. But I ordered a kit for this. I know the lighting is horrible in here. I'm sorry about that, but so it is the poison, poison garden, which is very popular. And it's a very bad picture of it, but it's amazing. And what is more amazing is that there is actually a real poison garden in England. So I've printed out like the picture and then we have like the material list. It's all white. It's very difficult to see. And after that, you have all the instructions. And it's going to be full of specialty stitches and beads and everything I have not done before. But it's going to be fine. And here is the package. And the thing is, the thing is that the package was broken, but they had put it in another bag. So I hope there's nothing missing. But Back to what I was saying, by the way, should I say that this is floss tube episode 29? Yeah, let's say it's 29. It's going to be a short one. It's all, it's going to be only about this kid, shall I? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, no, the thing is when I got interested in Chatelaine, I started searching for it on YouTube and there's not too much of it that I can find. But I am a horrible searcher. But I did find a few out there who made some unpacking of these kits. And I found that very fun to watch. So that is why I'm going to unpack this thing for you guys. So let's just do it together. I will change the camera so it will point down on my desk. So you will just see what's in the back. Just hang on. All right. So, uh, I, again, I'm sorry for the shadow, but I don't have proper lighting uh, when I do my YouTube, uh, floss tubes. But here's a better picture of, or it's the same picture. It's just maybe you can see it better. And it's just so cool. I, I love these uh, gates and I've seen this flower being stitched with specialty stitches and it's just fantastic. So, but here we have the package and I know I'm pretty close up, but I think we'll do fine. So I don't think I have some of my Let's just hold like this. I don't think my address is on there. But take a deep breath. I just have to say I'm very, 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 very excited. Oh my god. Oh <gasps> wow. Oh lord. Look at all these different pearls. 
shit. Uh, yay, yay, my. And now it, it, it looks so pretty. I don't wanna untack it, but I, pro I will. So it's a nice ribbon. I need a, a cup of, uh, a sip of coffee. And there is a lot of glare, but just, just, it's just how it is. <clears throat> wow. I mean, <laughs> I thought my Mirabilias had a lot of pearls in it, but um, yeah. I wonder which one, so these are Delica beads and this is like a Peridot Tila, Tila? Are there any crystals? How can I, how can I know? Maybe there aren't any crystals. Yeah, here it is. Here we have, let's see here. So these are crystals. Jeez, that's nice. That's really pretty. And then there is a ring with a lot of uh, floss away bags. And I kind of really enjoy having my threads in floss away bags. But maybe with a, a bigger ring. So I don't know if you guys want to kind of go through all of them and this is Gloriana no I'm lying this is Karen is it water lily lilies <laughs> the word I cannot pronounce how do I see that I don't know water Karen collection Yeah, it says water lilies. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. I hope it's not going to be too much frustration. I know I'm going to learn a lot of new things. Oh, there was a lot of this kind of thread. I feel a little bit intimidated when I see all this, but they are so beautiful. And I was wondering if I think the thread is calculated for a 32 count and I wanted to stitch mine on 28 count so the beads would fit better. So I hope there is enough floss, but I doubt it. There were a lot of these. This is something different. This is also Karen collection, but they are called, is it, oh, it's the wildflower collection. So yeah, they look a bit different. And here we have dinky dyes. I've never ever stitched with dinky dyes. Oh, this is Gloriana. I love Gloriana. 
Yeah. Oh, look at that color. Oh my God. Beautiful. I think this will be a start this weekend. Oh, that's cute. That was a tiny one. It's also Gloriana. Oh, it's a petite. Princess Pearl Petite. All right. And this is SNC. What does that stand for? Um, I need to, to go read on this because I don't know what that is. And then we have the treasure braid. Gold and silver. And some more treasure braid. A lot of glitter. Some purple. And yeah, bronze maybe. There were three different, uh, maybe there's two or one color there. So that, that's uh, a dark blue. Oh no, this is, this wasn't treasure braid. This was silk lame braid, petite. Is this what they call Petite treasure braid. Wow. That was all. But that was a lot. My God. It's going to be great fun. I have bought some white 28 count even weave um, for this. And I've sewn the edges, I searched the edges, and hopefully it's going to fit on my big roll, scroll frame. Um, what else? What else do I need to think about? Well, hang on, I'll uh, turn you over again. Okay, so what did you think? Did you like the threads? They were really really beautiful there was a lot of treasure braid but oh my oh my this is a big project and i cannot believe that i have a shuttling kit to start and all the beads is just wow so uh maybe a new start this weekend i just have to gather the courage you know and just dive into it <laughs> yeah anyway now uh this is all for today a short video i hope you like the unboxing unpacking of the shadow lane kit poison garden so until next time Take care. Bye.